Hello everyone. My name is Paul. I work for a company called Micrographics in Cape Town, South Africa. We're an Autodesk reseller and I'd like to discuss with you today annotating repeated rebar. So basically after you've placed some rebar within your model, which we've done over here, if we view that from a view that looks side on, we can see that it's rebar it's repeated as per clear minimum spacing and then we can see that on the view now we can tag this by using our normal tag tools under annotate and then we've got our rebar tags that's available for us from our multi rebar tags we've got linear multi rebar annotation and aligned multi rebar annotation. Linear will just, if they are at an angle, it will give you the horizontal, but let's go with the aligned rebar annotation. You click on the rebar and you drag it up, and there it places it for you. So after that, you can select the tag, and you'll see that you do have the ability to switch that out over here to the structural rebar which also gives you the ability to see the number and the spacing so we'll have a look in more detail at how we constitute this rebar tag but to gain control over that you would go to edit type and there you'll see that this is the rebar family it's got a tag family which is called structural MA rebar okay so if we had a look at that we've also got quantity type and spacing and number so there are different rebar tags there let's see what happens if we switch it out there you can see what that looks like All right so this tag is reporting certain elements Let's switch that back to what it was. MRA rebar. Right, so it's going to have a look at that. In the families or 24, you can just search. MRA rebar. There's the rebar family. <coughs> As you select that, you click on close in the search bar. And it zooms it in for you on that family. It should and let's go and have a look at that and edit that family like any text it is composed of a label that can pick up the information from the left hand side and this because it is of a category of structural rebar tags it reports information from rebar elements including bar length, bar diameter etc 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 so you can use this to compose a custom tag for yourself depending on how you want to see that within your project then we can see that we are using a dimension style of MRA diagonal 2 millimeters okay so that's why it's a sort of a, a annotation that looks like <coughs> Like um, architectural, there you can see there's different ways of doing that. All right, so you've got different dimension styles that you can use, All right? And then you've also got the ability to choose which of these rebar elements you want to annotate to, and that you can do from over here. So show all rebars in set, only one or some that you choose. Okay select rebars in set to show I'm going to say select none and then I'm going to click on the first one and the last one and maybe one in the middle and finish and now you can see it's actually just not putting a number in there All right? and it says the total length that's being displayed over there one last thing to note over here is that this little item 
is not showing in the right place so we can tab onto that to select it and we can drag that away and we can also say must it have a leader or not and we can place that over here somewhere it just makes the display a bit cleaner but it does indicate to whoever is reading that element what it's going to look like and over here you can see we've gained access to the rest of that dimension and you can control it from here so if you wanted to take the tick marks you edit the type change gap to element art to fix the dimension line it looks like that So you'll just have to learn how to manipulate that to look like something that you'd like. Of course, it's not always possible to get exactly what you want. You can also tab onto that element. Make it look different. Move it around a bit. So you've got quite a lot of control over what that element looks like. I know that the uh, structural engineers are usually quite finicky about what they look like. Don't forget to tab onto the sub-elements and also to look at the constituent parts of the dimension by going to edit type and choosing your objects over there, noticing that there are nested families and that you can search for those nested families within your family browser. I hope this has helped you. Until next time, enjoy Revit.